Hey there viewers and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at installing the crankshaft. So before we do that, we want to check the clearance between the uh, rod bearing journal and the rod itself. So uh, the tool we're going to use today is plastic gauge. Uh, so we simply cut a piece off and there are graduated measurements on the packaging, both in metric and SAE units. Um, this tool, being it's a piece of wax inside of a piece of paper, is only going to work on clamp together type of bearings. So uh, like the one in the uh, block up here where these pieces slide, it's not going to work on those. So pretty good for your main bearings in car engines. I use it a lot for that. It's pretty good. I have good luck with it. Uh, it won't ruin your engine. It's really cheap. Um, those types of things. It's not going to work unfortunately in this so we're kind of stuck to the micrometer ways of doing things but uh, without further ado let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to remove the bolts from the rod. Uh, see the installation video for the piston if you have not already done that. And the next step we're going to do is we're going to find a semi-clean towel. It's got to be really clean. And we're going to wipe out that guy and we're going to wipe out the inside of this cap really good. Uh, next we're going to do the exact same thing to the crankshaft. Okay so we are going to install that without any lubrication on it. Okay pull that guy up. Sorry if you can't really see that. And then we're going to cut some plastic gauge and we'll open the package up carefully somehow my first day on the job, sorry folks. And inside of it, there should be a little piece of green plastic. So we will take that out. We will place it on the connecting rod. And it's wax, so it usually sticks. Crush fingers, maybe. Oh boy. Usually it sticks. Come on, stick. Okay. All right, it's sticking. And then without moving nothing, we are going to install without moving anything. Okay, all right. And then we torque the rod bolts to the manufacturer's specification, which in this case is a couple of ugga duggas with uh, the impact here. And then we'll remove it, again without letting anything turn. I'll we'll take a look and you can see that that plastic gauge is kind of smashed out. So now all we do, uh, I'm going to tear off the metric side because it's not really worth thinking about right now. Uh, you compare how wide the smush is, which it looks to be about uh thousandth and a half and uh may maybe i mean you can see it's got a little tiny bit it almost looks like a little bit of taper in it uh, that's another really good thing this does is it sees if surfaces are flat so i'm at about a thousandth of an inch up here at the top dot oh oh one and i taper out down here at the bottom to about a thousandth and a half so i just compare it to the service manual spec uh, this one's good when you're finished with it you can just wipe that stuff off uh, you know, pretty much anything takes it off. Rag, whatever. It's it's wax. It's not going to hurt your engine. You also should have an impression of it left on your uh, rod cap. Now that that's out of the way, I'm going to push the piston all the way to the bottom or the top, however you want to look at it. We're going to get some luber plate. Now, sponsor of the show. Uh, we are going to put some lubrication in this top bearing and make sure we get it on the seal. We're also going to put some lubrication in this connecting rod and I put a little bit on the crankshaft journal as well and that way I know it's sufficiently done. We'll also do the same up there. Go ahead and we'll drop that in Then we will try to be mindful of the fact there's a camera right where I want to work. I will bring that to bottom dead center we'll check our dots obviously uh, we talked about that in the piston installation video and then uh, go ahead and run 
our rod bolts in. I want to say the torque specs like eight foot pounds or so. I'll look it up in the book, but uh, bring it up to me, have me check it, and that way I can get a, a signature in the grade book for you having your crankshaft installed correctly. All right, and that's pretty much what there is. Hey, when I look in here, uh, let's look at connecting rod bolt torque. <laughs> 12 Newton meters, okay, 8.7 foot pounds. Uh, let's see, connecting rod, uh, oil clearance on the big end, 0.001 to 0.0025. So we're definitely within spec on that. Uh, if you are wondering about your piston ring gap, I never check them on these engines because that's we get what we get. I have never had a problem and I've replaced countless piston rings on this. Uh, the end gap for the top is 0.012. 0 0.2.018 and then the second is six ten thousandths to fourteen ten thousandths. So the second's going to fit pretty dang tight. Um, just FYI on that. So anyway, uh, if you want to know how that's done, uh, you take the rings off your piston just like I showed you in the video. You slide them into the cylinder using the piston and you put the ring in there then you push it up into the cylinder, take the piston out you got a ring sitting in there perfectly flat and you slide a feeler gauge in. So um, that's pretty much all there is to that. Hey, I hope you enjoyed our video today and uh, good luck putting the crankshaft in.